So hopefully you've tried to find some squares on this grid already. I'm here to give you a couple hints. So you may, we see this one here. You can imagine moving this one around into different places to get a bunch more squares. So that's one thing. The second thing is you might find that there are squares of different sizes that you can make. In fact, the whole thing is also a square. So that's another one I can make. And there are some medium sized squares that I can make in between. If you do that, you'll probably get to that number I said in the first video, which is 14 squares. But then how do you find any more? Because people have found more. So if you haven't found more than 14 yet, that's perfectly fine. But maybe you want to take a little different look at the paper. Maybe take your paper and turn it a little bit and see if that gives you a different perspective on where the lines can be and how you can maybe find more squares. If you do that, I think you will find that you can identify some squares where every corner is on one of the dots. So give that a whirl, see if that helps you at all. Changing your perspective is a really good way to help you get unstuck when you find yourself not knowing where to go next. So that's a good strategy you can use, not just for this problem, but for a lot of different problems. So try that and see how far you can get.